Hey guys, this is your girl with Benjamin Buttons 01. I'm coming to you today with my take on the strawberry letter. Let's get it, shall we? Alright guys, time now for the strawberry okay, letter. Well, and if you need well, advice well, on relationships, well, dating, well, work, well, sex, well, parenting, well, and more, please submit your strawberry letter to steveharveyfm.com and click Submit Strawberry Letter. We could be reading your letter live on the air. Happy like Chili! Subject, I married a narcissist. Dear Stephen Shirley, I'm in need of some sound advice. I got married six and a half months ago after reuniting with my man. We had an off and on relationship for years and he started seeing a woman that catered to his big personality. She dumped him and he came running back to me. After he begged me to give okay. him another shot, I took him back and we got Stupid. engaged. As soon as he put the ring on my finger, his personality started to change. No, but I married really? him anyway. Every day he comes home from work and tells me about his day. He's a car salesman and swears he's the best dressed, best looking salesman in the entire state. And that is why he's the top seller. He never asked how my day was. And I'm a pediatrician. So I always have an interesting story to tell. If I'm in a bad mood or had a bad day, he tells me stories of how he deals with stress. He talks about himself a lot and spends more time primping in the bathroom mirror than I do. Mm. Last week, I invited my parents over for dinner and my husband put some steaks on the grill. My husband dominated the conversation, talking about the Botox he planned to get. And my parents were looking at me like I was crazy. I tried to change the subject, and my husband went right back to talking about himself. I also want to add that during sex, it's all about him. And he likes me to play with his areola and kiss his back and do a few other things. The, I <laughs> he always gives the me instructions, and it ruins the sexual experience for me. He's turned into a narcissist, and I'm so sick of his ego. Can professional counseling help him? The areola. But I married him anyway. But you married him anyway. Okay. Let's just, just, just hear. had a big personality. Uh, you've known him for a while. So I gotta ask you, whose fault is this? I mean, Hers. You knew who this man was long before you got with him. Come on, uh, come on, Shirley. What did you think? Now, this one I'm on part this oh, one. let me guess. I, I know. Uh, you thought he was gonna change, right? You hmm. thought he uh, nope. You said it, he Excuse just went me, right y'all. back to who he really is. Him, all him, 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 all the time. Uh, and that's what a narcissist does. Amen. I, mean, I believe in counseling to answer your question, but he's not going to go. Narcissists don't think they need therapy because they don't think anything is, is wrong with them. They think the universe revolves around them. They're enormous egos. I think I could to be a narcissist, a small narcissist though, because I sort of kind of think the world revolves around me sometimes. I'm sorry, but that's just, I think everybody's got a little narcissism in them. I think everyone has a little bit of narcissism, because you can't think that you the shit. You can't not think that you the shit. Your self esteem got to be real low for you to, 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 to they're, they're okay. Anyway. I mean, unless you're pr planning a breakup with him or something, your best bet right now is to ignore him. I mean, because they can't stand not being the center of your world or the world for that for that matter. Uh, it's just a shame that your accomplishments, you said you're a pediatrician. I'm sure you do have some great stories in your life are completely ignored well, by him. Now. That's a shame. Steve? I need some sound advice. Uh, you got married six and a half years ago. I'm the subject of married to a narcissist. Got married six and a half months ago. We had an off and on again relationship for years. Now, if you have an on again, off again relationship, I'm assuming that there is a reason for the off. Hmm, and it's Jesus, my house smells so the good, same reason that broke it up. Because he didn't just start becoming a narcissist after he put this ring on. He was the same way. 
He started seeing another woman that was catering to all this big person. Don't now, we always look for one that does that? Running back. Big, we give him a second we, shot. Wait, what am I saying? Here's the problem. He come home every day. He's a car salesman, man. And he swears he's the best dressed, best looking car salesman in the entire state. And that's yeah, the whole state? Salesman. Let's go over this right here. Not the whole state. All, he swears I can see the, the whole county, dress. maybe. He the best dressed car salesman. How hard is it to get that title? <laughs> Just based on the movies of car salesmen I've seen. Yeah. Now, a lot of the brothers Excuse I know that sell cars, they be clean when they work. <coughs> no, I didn't they do it on high, camera, so you some blow off smoke, so cut it out, you two. They out there walking them lots in that heat. It's hard. It's hard work, man. You start with me. But if I you gotta decrease the title as the best dress. Car uh, How hard is it to get that title? Not that damn hard. Then you said you're the best looking salesman in the entire state. Now, how small now is that state? No! Ain't got shit to do with the car. Right how big is the state? I ain't never the seen state. nobody cute selling them cheaps. <laughs> I wish I knew what car salesman he was. Uh -huh. Now, if he's selling Lexus. You know, he got a shot, might be. Might be. Car, might be. Might be. Yeah. But they got to be kind of stiff to sell them kind of stiff cars. You can't tell me nothing, man, what I'm in my phone with you. <laughs> but the guy that sold it to me, he look like he made it. Oop. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry, y'all. Right. Right, we'll I just yeah, downloaded a new game. I'm so sorry. No, <laughs> I'm so no, sorry. All right, here we go. Uh, I gotta get better at this. Y'all gotta give me a name. <laughs> they start with a P, I get it. Uh, <laughs> all right, listen, we'll have part two of Steve's response coming up. I'm married, I'm married to a narcissist. We'll be right back. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, come on, Steve. Let's recap today's strawberry letter. The subject, I'm married to a narcissist. Well, you know, married this guy, thank you, everything. Now, your car sells me, you married him. After on again, off relationship, y'all been married so now right six now. and a half months. He broke up and started seeing a woman that had accepted the big personality. She sent him right on back to you. He begged back and took you back. But as soon as he put the ring on, he changed again. I mean, he is, he is what he is, right? He a car salesman, swear he the best dressed, best looking salesman in the entire state. And that's why he's the top seller. Well, who said he the top seller? He did? Mm -hmm. I'd probably bet you he ain't the top seller in the state. You don't know that Steve now. He might be all right at that dealership. Might be top seller one day. But somebody down there warming. Because people that buy cars, they like to like the salesman. I, he don't sound that likable to me. Never ask how your day was. You're a pediatrician. You know, always has interesting stories to tell. If I'm in a bad mood or had a bad day, he tell me a story about how he deal with stress. You know, he that dude. He in the bathroom more than you. I don't like he, he that dude. He that dude. Whatever kind of that dude, he, he that, he, that dude. I'm a husband dominating the conversation, talking about the Botox he planned to get. And my parent was looking at me like I was crazy. Okay, excuse me, ladies, let me ask you. Botox is injections to like make the, the facial area. Face, the facial area, yes. Them their forehead to get the the forehead to make sure the wrinkles. The you know, the, the thing is, tape does so that well. Tape, no, good no, lord, I just took no, a couple of years off my face with this no, thing. Some people get them under their arms. I wouldn't mind having my eyes like that. A little chinky, what y'all think? Um, you should have told chinky look is good? My partner, you know, I really have told him about that because he didn't. My face looks fat. Nah, I'm good. The car before we didn't got so rough it's pretty bad. In the winter time, we climbed up the city to the safe because the windows was rolled up and the heat was on high and Gil's car only ran on 80. High heat and he was in that car. 
had that winter coat on and that winter coat smelled like just like him. Ooh, we didn't get about that car anyway. Let's go. Anyway, back to the yes, car. anyway. So uh, anyway. I tried to change the subject, and my husband went right back talking about himself. That's what and narcissists then do. I want to add, doing sex is all about him. That's what narcissists he likes, are. He likes for me to play with his areola and kiss his back. <laughs> I don't know why she thought that was important for this letter. That little round thing around the nipple. I don't know why she thought that was impressive. She could have said something else. You don't like you to suck on. I don't know. Google says 71 degrees in Wilkinson Heights. Sunny. It does. And then he always do her sex. It's all about he like to uh, do this and he always gives me instruction and it ruined the sexual experience. Hey, 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 hey. Come on now. Come on around this way. Come on a little bit higher. Hmm. Put on Next point. Time he starts talking about himself. Do this. Walk out the room. There you go. Okay. Yeah, that's what they ignore him. When you're sitting at the table, Good. no, but I want you to do it in a noticeable way. <sighs> and then walk out. Mm -hmm. Side, Side oh, real strong. Side and walk out. Real hard. You know, y'all at the dinner table, he talking about himself. Get up and take your plate and go in there and start watching TV. <laughs> I love it. You know, just stuff mouth. like that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You know, out of the room. You're yeah. in the bedroom. He come in there. He want all this back kiss. You can tell him to kiss your back. As soon as he kiss your back, get up and go, whoa, well, that does it for me. <laughs> I love it. And challenge all that talking every time he does it. You can help him. Hey, what's wrong with you? I be trying to talk with you. No. But no, you be trying to tell me about you. You never ask me about me. You never talk to me about me. It's always about you. And I'm tired of hearing it without you listening to me. And get up and walk off. That's how, yeah, that's how you, you do it. Take a chance at yep. this. And if that don't work, go ahead and then try get to get the therapy. therapy. But all he's going to do is talk to the therapist. And the about devil. himself. Yep. <laughs> On today's show. Yeah, but um, oh, I love this song so much. Um, I just love that girl. She just, she just kills it for me. She really does. I love Cardi. I love Megan too. But um, this is not about neither one of them goddamn BBs, bad bitches. Um, this guy, it's the areola for me. And I'm sorry, y'all, but it is the lick, the areola for me, honey. I was done. I was, I was like the, the skull emoji. Dead. That's what you want him to put your mouth on. You know how to come put your mouth on me. That's what you want to put your mouth on me. Um, yeah, I don't. Yeah, he need help. But like Steve, I, I think Steve gave you absolutely, positively wonderful advice. Start doing it all. And when I say when all the time, even even during those times, honey. Start making it all about you. How about we do it? Start making it all about you, Miss Lady. You. Um, when he starts talking about himself, um, well, honey, let me tell you about my and get loud and just cut him right the hell off. Let me tell you about this lady with this crying behind baby. I mean, I, yeah, I, I heard what you say, but listen, this baby, this lady came with this baby, and this lady was just crying, crying, crying. Yeah, I know, baby, I know. But this and this lady and just keep cutting his ass the hell off. When y'all are intimate. Just like Steve said, let him get a couple of pumps in. And when he start getting selfish, you know, just, oh, okay. When you get ready to turn around, when he say, lick his back, exit stage left. 
lick it about three times and then exit stage left. Just let it ride. And right, I'm, it's right on my side. It's left in y'all screen, but it's right on my side. But yeah, exit stage right. And go around there and um, might want to get you a toy. Let's, enter, let's, let's get this interesting. Let's get this popping. I'm going to show you how it's going to be all about me. Since you always been all about you, I'm going to show you how it's about to be all about me. I'm about to be the bad bitch in this relationship. And both of us cannot be bad bitches. One of us got to be the backup. And you're going to be my backup because I'm about to make this all about. I'm going to give me a toy. I'm going to lick you on your back about two, three times. Then I'm going to get up, go in the living room, and work it out. What you doing? You want to do you, you, you getting your get off. I'm gonna get my get off, then I'm gonna come back to you because I can't wait on you to get yours. Let's just be clear when 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 company come over, tell the company just not to even entertain nothing he's saying. Not do, before they all even start talking. You know, when y'all come here, y'all know how he is about talking about himself. I'm going to tell y'all what y'all do. Just entertain. We're going to entertain one another. We're going to hold a conversation with each other. When he talking, we all right, <laughs> yeah, and go back to the conversation we was having. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> yeah. What were you saying now? Yeah. And keep doing that. Because sometimes people just got to understand, it really ain't about you. Listen, Marla. Yes, that's my name. Listen, Marla. All the time. It ain't about you. Sometimes it's about the husband. Sometimes it's about the kid. But it's not always about you. So sometimes these people have to be made known. It's not all about you. You can be the best dresser, the best car salesman, the best whatever you are. But it's not always going to be about you. And please, in the state, Steve should have asked her how big was this damn state. Because there's no way you're the best dresser in the state and ain't nobody heard about you. Come on now. The, 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 why you, the, why you, fuck you lying face. I don't understand. It, he the best seller, the best dresser in the state? The state of what? I'm going to have to research what's the smallest state in America. Because that's probably the state that he's in. Well, he's in a crazy state of mind. Well, we already know that he's a narcissist. But yeah, this is your girl, Ms. Benjamin Buttons 01. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Bye, guys.